Did you know that the voice cast for Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS is comprised of actors from all over the world? The various Nintendo and other video game franchises that the wide cast of characters' voices come from are recorded in many parts of the United States, multiple other countries, and in some cases even for different languages. There's also a few cases of characters having audio recycled from previous Smash Brothers games, or even other games entirely. Let's take a look. Starting with the Super Mario Bros., Donkey Kong Country, Yoshi, and Legend of Zelda series, all of the returning characters have their audio recycled from the previous title, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, for the Nintendo Wii. Carrie Kane, one of three different actresses that's portrayed Rosalina, was brought in to record new audio for the Galactic Goddess, as well as Katie Segoyan, the second but longest-running voice of Bowser Jr., to record audio for the little Koopa Kid. The seven Koopalings were all brought to life through recycled audio from the new Super Mario Bros. series, but were played by their respective actors, of course the likes of which include Mike Vaughn, Dan Falcone, and Lonnie Manella, who plays four of the seven Koopalings. She's also, of course, a returning cast member to the series as she retains the voice of Mother 3 character Lucas, as well as being the previous voice of Kid Icarus hero, Pit. Moving over to the Kid Icarus characters, as confirmed by Kid Icarus Uprising's voice director, a few cast members were brought back to reprise their roles, but there were a few that had to be replaced. Palutena's original actress, Ali Hillis, was unable to return, so instead recommended her friend and fellow actress, Brandy Cobb, from Vancouver, Canada, to take her place on the green-haired goddess. The Kid Icarus assist trophies were a strange case. The lines spoken by Magnus and Phosphora in the Japanese version of Smash were actually just recycled clips from Uprising performed by their respective actors. For the English version, this same process wasn't done, so different actors were brought in to re-record their audio. Stephanie Comere redid Kari Walgren's Phosphora lines, and Patrick Seitz redid Fred Tatashore's Magnus lines. Interestingly enough, too, Virity's Japanese actress is Makiko Omoto, who you'd already be familiar with as the voice of Ness and Kirby. Speaking of Kirby, while DDD and Meta Knight's voice clips were also recycled from Brawl, Makiko Omoto got the chance to record another pass at Kirby's audio, as there was much new material to record with the little pink puffball. Most notably are Kirby's imitations of the other characters' special moves after inhaling them. There were even a few cases of Kirby having to speak English based on the moves of characters like Palutena, Robin, and Shulk with his ever-changing Monado powers. Automatical! Jump! Speed! Shoot! Buster! Smash! Uta Shoujun! Tobu! Hajiru! Hamaru! Tadak! Kutobas! On the note of Shulk, the entire cast of Xenoblade Chronicles, recorded in England, were kept consistent to their appearances in Smash. Dunbot and Ricky were more recycled audio, this time from the original Xenoblade Chronicles game, while Shulk and Metal Face, played by Adam Howden and Timothy Watson respectively, had tons of new material to record specifically for the game. Metal Face, of course, taunts the players who duke it out on Gower Plains, and who could forget the legendary... I'm really feeling it! A few other quick ones to run through, Alicia Glidewell's recordings were recycled as Zero Suit Samus, as opposed to the more recent Gen for Martin from Metroid Other M, despite them using that design. Sonic the Hedgehog was played by his newly established voice since 2010, Roger Craig Smith, in place of Jason Griffith, heard previously in Brawl. However, Sonic's recordings were recycled from other games from his own series, such as his new Final Smash phrase being taken from a cutscene in Sonic Generations. Time to scramble some Eggman! Super Sonic style! Super Sonic style! Huh? Similarly, Kirk Thornton's two lines as the assist trophy Shadow the Hedgehog were also taken from Sonic Generations. In fact, Sonic and Shadow's English, Japanese, Spanish, German, Italian, and French voices were all used for this game, as was a similar case with the male and female Wii Fit trainers. Little Mac, this time, was not played by Hisao Igawa, Japanese voice of Falco that had done a few lines for Mac's assist trophy in Brawl, nor Matt Hardy, who played Mac in the Punch-Out game for Wii, but rather an entirely new actor, Kosuke Toriyumi, his trainer, Doc Louise was played by Riley Ng, carrying over from Punch-Out! Wii. The cast of Fire Emblem Awakening was all brought back for the newly added characters such as Robin and Lucina. But although he's not a playable character, a very noteworthy inclusion is that of Matt Mercer as the character of Krom. Back in 2009, when Matt's voice career was beginning to take off, he and his film partner Zach Grafton teamed up to create a fan-made live-action series called There Will Be Brawl that gave a grim and twisted murder mystery spin on the world of Smash Brothers. Matt himself performed the part of Ganondorf on camera, as well as voiced Kirby and Meta Knight in this 15-episode series. And several years later, thanks to scoring a lead part in a major Nintendo game, was able to be in the next new Smash Brothers game. Now that is an awesome full circle. Next come the Star Fox characters, which have some interesting and bizarre info to them. The most recent game in the series at the time of Smash 4's release was Star Fox 64 3D, which featured a few cast members from the original Star Fox 64, as well as a few new...
new actors to voice match the rest of the cast. These actors were brought in to voice Fox and Falco, making their return as playable characters, and to voice the team in the secret Easter egg communication chats in the stage Orbital Gate Assault. However, the similar previous Easter egg chats from the past Star Fox levels were kept. The Easter egg on the Corneria stage from Melee, found in the 3DS version, retains the audio recorded by the folks working at Rareware in England during Star Fox Adventures production, and the Lilac Crew stage has its own Easter egg with the Star Fox and Star Wolf team members voiced by a number of the Seattle-based actors heard originally in Star Fox Assault, with a few replacements brought in for several characters in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This means between the two different versions of 3DS and Wii U, Smash 4 features three different Star Fox voice casts. The biggest victory for the Star Fox team is that Mike West, the voice of Fox McCloud from Star Fox 64, who did not get the chance to reprise this role way back on the first Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64, finally got his chance to do Fox's classic taunt, COME ON! Moving on from one group of animals to another, let's look at the Pokémon characters. As you might expect, lots more recycled audio from the familiar creatures, but what's impressive is that nearly every single Pokemon seen in Smash 4 is played by its appropriate voice actor from the anime series. The likes of Pikachu and Charizard, of course, and Jigglypuff's audio still being recycled from two games ago in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Although an even crazier case lies in Snorlax, of all things. Snorlax's voice clip was performed by the Pokemon anime series' very first English voice director, Michael Hagney, who'd often jump in the booth to record certain creatures himself. And this clip of Snorlax has been recycled since the first Super Smash Bros. on the N64 from over 15 years ago. Several other creatures, like Arceus, were played by Tom Wayland, who not only voice directed the show at the time, but directed the show's cast on their work for Smash Bros. 4. Newcomer Billy Bob Thompson played Greninja, carrying over from his performance as pre-evolutions Froakie and Frogadier, seen in the Pokemon X and Y series. Several actors from the show were brought in to similarly reprise their parts, sometimes for only one word of dialogue. That one word, of course, being the Pokemon's name, as per the usual. One exception to both of these qualities was Mewtwo, who this time was played by an actor that's never portrayed him in either English or Japanese, Keiji Fujiwara. As with Melee, Mewtwo's victory quotes in reference to Pokemon the first movie can only be heard in the Japanese version of the game. One really interesting case lies in that of Lucario. The talking Lucario seen in the most recent two Smash Bros. games is in fact the same one found in Pokemon Movie 8, as evidenced by his consistent Japanese actor Daisuke Namikawa. There have been several non-speaking Lucario seen in the anime series, but all of them have been played by different actors in the Japanese version, while Namikawa only plays the speaking one for Movie 8. During the time of Super Smash Bros. Brawl's recording, Sean Schemmel, the English voice of the movie Lucario, was not contacted to return for the role. So Bill Rogers, who had voiced several creatures in the series by that time, filled in, and then later played several different Lucario in the show from then on. However, for Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS, Sean finally returned to the aura-using hero. Ironic casting, considering they're a fighter that can use powerful energy blasts. On that note, in previous episodes we've talked about how many actors from the popular anime series Dragon Ball Z have appeared in tons of other video games. You might be surprised to find out that a ton of them can be heard in the new Smash Bros. game. Sean Schemmel, the English voice of Goku, is Lucario. Ryo Horikawa, the Japanese voice of Vegeta, is Captain Falcon. Laura Bailey, the English voice of Kid Trunks, is Lucina. Norio Wakamoto, the Japanese voice of Cell, is Metal Face. Kisao Igawa, the Japanese voice of Spopovich, is Falco. Hikaru Midorikawa, the Japanese voice of Android 16, is Marth. Atsushi Kisaichi, the Japanese voice of Ub, is Meta Knight. And most recently, Kyle Bear, the voice of Gohan and the narrator of DBZ, is Street Fighter's legendary icon, Ryu. And last but certainly not least is the part of the announcer. As is the Smash Brothers tradition, another new actor was picked for this fourth installment, Xander Mobis. The up-and-coming voice performer originally from Washington who grew up playing the previous Smash games booked the audition and not only got to perform the announcer during the Smash Bros. 50 Fact Extravaganza, but, as the other past announcers have, got to voice Master Hand, Crazy Hand, and the all-new Master Core in the game's single-player mode. An even crazier fact is that Xander also performed theater with Kenny James, who, although he hasn't performed for Smash Bros., has been the voice of Bowser since 2009. Kenny gave Xander his MXL microphone as a gift, and legend has it, Xander booked the part of the Smash Brothers announcer on that very microphone. Thanks so much for watching. This video was inspired by Digino Gaming, so go check out their channel and watch all their videos about gaming trivia. Special thanks to Omadon for the audio mastering, Youngtown for the awesome music, and BehindTheVoiceActors.com for all the audio samples. If you like this episode, go check out some of our other ones on the side here, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more. This game's winner is... Kerbopper!